What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video. Today's topic is gonna to be going over tips on how to lose weight before joining the military. I was doing a live stream earlier and somebody had asked me that question and I realized as I was talking about it, I was taking up a good amount of time so I figured why not make a separate video for that same subject, right? So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so you probably clicked this video because you're about to join the military and you've been told by your recruiter or at MEPS, you know, hey, you need to lose a couple of pounds before you join. Or you probably want to just lose a couple of pounds for yourself before you actually join the military, right? And uh, I struggle with the same thing. Sometimes I still do struggle with this in the military for like height and weight standards and things like that of that nature, right? I remember like first coming into the military, I was a little bigger. But um, things that I did personally, I'll share with you. That way you can apply them to your schedule, your routine, you know, your workout sessions and things like that. And just in your daily life to see if they work for you, right? So first thing I did was um, I just started running. I really was never a big runner, but um, I still, I'm still not a big runner. But, you know, it definitely helps. It definitely, um, you know boost the calories that you're burning throughout the day, right? So you're able to eat a little more and not feel like completely bad for like starving yourself. I, re I do not recommend starving yourself, do not do that. That's not the right way to go about it. If you wanna lose weight, you gotta do it properly, right? <clears throat> One of my first videos ever was uh, five tips to uh, help with weight loss. But uh, besides that, right, so running. Start running a little more, right? And then second, I didn't find out until I was already in the military, right? And I still do this to this day, right? It definitely helps. It's one of the biggest things that I do, you know, pretty much every day. And that's intermittent fasting, right? And pretty much to sum it up, right, is you just push back your eating window, right? Instead of eating like breakfast when you first wake up, you know, like <clears throat> try and go like four to five hours after waking without eating, right? So what I do typically, right, this is what I do, you know, works for me, you know, for the most part anyway. <laughs> But um, yeah, so wake up, you know, I do PT, I go to work, all that fun stuff, right? And then around lunchtime, so like 12.30 is when like, I like to start my eating window. So like 12.30, you know, maybe I'll have my first meal. I can push my meals way further in the day because I've been doing it for so long, right? I'm used to it, my body's used to it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so I would eat, right? I'll eat my first meal, which can be a pretty decent sized meal, right? Because for example, say I have 2000 calories in a day, right? Which is still below my 2,500 calories, right? So it's a 500 calorie caloric deficit, which is what you have to be in in order to lose weight, right? You have to be in a caloric deficit. You gotta be burning more than what you're putting into your body. You get me? But uh, <clears throat> yeah, back to intermittent fasting, right? So uh, like 12.30, eating window opens up, right? If I'm hungry, I'll eat, right? I'll listen to my body. I'm not gonna go like, oh no, you're not gonna eat. So <clears throat> I'll have my first meal, it'll be like, you know, a pretty decent sized meal because I have 2,000 calories and it's already like midday, so why not ball out, right? So that meal can be like a 1,000 calorie meal pretty much if you want it to be, right? And if you're tracking your macros and stuff, cool, you can do that as well. But if you're just trying to lose weight because you're a bigger person, you know, being in a deficit is probably the best way to start out first, right? Before getting into like the whole science behind macros and things like that. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, right, so eat that meal and then you just go about your day, right? You know, you keep doing whatever you gotta do, you know, like get some errands done. And then by the time like 7.30 rolls around, it's time for your second and last meal, right? Because you wanna stop eating around like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, just depending on your schedule. And that's a great thing about intermittent fasting. You can plan it and work it around your schedule. And then bam, you have like another thousand calories just laying around to make up to your 2,000 calories for that day, right? And just keep in mind that these calories are, you know, for an example only, you have to calculate your own calories, get your own numbers and all that fun stuff, right? But you can do that on um, tdeecalculator.com. I'll link it down in the description box below. That's the one I use to find my calories and macros and all that fun stuff, right? But um, yeah, so you eat that meal and then you just stop eating after that, right? It's already eight o'clock anyway, right? You don't want to eat anything past that. And then that's your eating window. And then you're still eating the regular amount of calories you would eat in a day, but you're able to eat bigger meals and they keep you fuller for longer. Because I know like 
If you're like me, I hate eating small meals. I just, I do not want to eat six meals a day that consist of like an apple and some almonds and you know, a snack here and there. Like I want to eat like a fucking king, you know what I'm talking about? I want a big ass meal, I want some big ass portion. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's why intermittent fasting, to me, it works, it's fun and it's maintainable, right? Because you're able to still eat and feel full as opposed to eating six meals throughout the day Blah, 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 like that's not for me and I don't think that's for you either. But that's just something you can try, intermittent fasting, right? And like I was talking about, next thing to help you lose weight is caloric deficit. That's probably the biggest thing, right? You have to be burning more calories than you are consuming, right? <clears throat> because if you're eating a shit ton of calories and yeah, you're still working out, but if those calories go over than the amount that you burn throughout that day, you're still going to be, you know, putting on weight, right? But if you're in a deficit, you're going to be losing that weight, right? Because your body has to make up for those lost calories. So it's going to be taken away from the fat and um, it's just going to be a bet, like beneficial for you pretty much, right? Because that's pretty much how you lose weight in the first place, being in a caloric deficit, not eating as much, pretty much. You don't want to do anything too drastic. You want to do like, like I do a 500 calorie deficit when I'm doing like cutting cycles and things like that, or if I have to get ready for height and weight, you know what I mean? Because I'm a short dude and you know, I have a decent amount of muscle and fat, right? So every time I do height and weight, I'm going to get taped. So just to play it safe, when I know I'm going to do height and weight, I do a caloric deficit. That way I can be good, I'll be a little leaner, and I won't be as big when it comes time to get taped for that height and weight. But guys, this was a short little video, right? If I missed anything, those are just some of the things that I do personally, right? So intermittent fasting, caloric deficit, and you know, just running, right? You know, drinking a shit ton of water also helps. Try to shoot for a gallon a day. That is probably, you know, the best thing. Cut out the sodas, cut out the sugars, right? You know, but also listen to your body at the same time. Don't get so caught up in trying to lose weight that you forget to have fun and enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? You don't wanna be like, oh no, like go out with your friends, right? And they're all like, you know, drinking or, you know, eating like chocolate and stuff like that, right? That's the great thing about intermittent fasting and flexible dieting is because you can still eat those things, right? But just in moderation. So it's like, say you have, you want pizza, right? But you know, you gotta fit it into your calories. You know, um, two slices of pizza, right? Each piece of pizza is like maybe 350 calories. So two would put you at 700 calories, right? But out of like, for example, if your calories for cutting are 2,000, you know, minus 700, you still have 1,300 calories left in that day to consume. And that's a lot of food, you know? I'm just saying, like, 1,300 calories, that can be a big ass meal. Because I know from experience, so I weigh my food, I calculate on a food scale, like, I know, like, I could look at a piece of chicken breast and tell you, hey, yeah, that's eight ounces just from how many times I've weighed out fucking chicken breast or, you know, beef or rice or anything like that, you know what I mean? But um, <coughs> I highly recommend getting a food scale because weighing your food and actually getting the appropriate measurements for food is probably one of the best ways as opposed to using measuring cups and things like that. But um, these are just some of the things that I've done to lose weight while in the military and before joining the military. And hopefully they can help you as well, right? I'm in no way, shape, or form a fitness expert, fitness guru, whatever. One of the main reasons I started my channel in the first place was to be a fitness channel and I tried it. And you know, it wasn't really taking off, but now that I have a little more of a following, uh, hopefully my advice can help some of y'all. And uh, if you're thinking of joining the military and you're trying to lose weight, hopefully it helps you as well. Also, if you guys want more fitness related videos, comment fitness down in the comment section below. Uh, if I get enough of them, you know, I'll pick it back up. I'll pick up the fitness aspect of the channel, right guys? But uh, thank you so much for tuning in, right? If you have any more questions, feel free to reach me on my Instagram. I answer everybody that uh, messages me through my DMs, right? It's Ben underscore Allen 175. And you can follow me there. I post cool stories, I post some cool posts. And uh, I also answer all my messages, so feel free to do that. Uh, again, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Good luck in your fitness journeys. Later.